Talent Show, still successful. Right. You had a new child. Mm-hmm. Was that planned or was that like, oh, what do you mean? You know. <laughs> 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 was you ex- did, did you want to? Uh, did, did, did you see yourself having a child sure, at this stage? Sure. I mean, you yeah. know, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, no, why not? I don't, you know, babies ain't bother me. I love them. I love babies. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, man. I, mean, I ain't got nothing to say to that. I Expected love babies, unexpected. too. Unexpected. It's a blessing. Huh? When yeah, you have yeah. so many, though, people figure when you get a little older, you're a little more hesitant to. Yeah, people it. say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, shh. shh. I just take it as it comes. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think God going to put me in a situation I can't handle. I've handled much worse things in life. You mm-hmm. know? This is true. This is true. That's I, so I was with them on some of those things back <laughs> yeah, in the year. We, yeah. we, we, we've had done to fight, some, Had to fight through it. Yeah, man. I was right there with you, man. I don't know if you remember. I was right outside the courthouse. I was in there when we were talking to the kids. And yeah. Right on. I got a newfound respect for this man when I saw him talking to the kids. Had to be. Yeah. Now, the, the music um, Dr. Dre produced, Dope. Right, yeah, with Sir Jinx, yeah, the legend, <laughs> Sir yep. Jinx. the shout West Coast Jinx, legend. Family. Damn it, right on. You got to shout out Sir Jinx, no, yeah, man. Sir, I don't sir, think they give it. Give him a round of applause, Sir yeah. Jinx. What did you think? That Dr. Dre cousin, y'all. He also yeah. produced for for Ice, Ice Cube, Cube. Yeah. Yeah. early on. Yep. yep. You um, know, that who that who house Dre went stayed at when he met Cube, right? In okay. the movie. Yep. That was Jinx, right? That was Jinx. Yeah, yeah I believe yeah, that yeah. was. Just Jinx. for the youngsters, man. Just yeah. so they know. So we ain't just tossing that name yeah. down. No. Yeah. And Jinx yeah. wrote on Friday too, right? The first one. If I take a deep breath, I'm gonna step really? back on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So look that up. I ain't now. Tip Wikipedia that man. <laughs> I'm just going on my I deep saw, West Coast ball. Your info for the West Coast thing. Yeah. Um, how is it? Is it a? Uh, is it a challenge to uh, stay in the minds and the hearts of uh, this generation of music listeners with for you at all? You know, with music, because uh, mm, not in the minds of the heart. It's more so within good graces sometimes. Okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I'm. I, you know, I I pull up. Sometime, man, you know, I just, you know, pull up like the old nigga who 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 remember when this shit was played, how it really was supposed to go, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know. And I hold I hold people to a tight, a, a you know, a high standard. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's uncomfortable for youngsters, you know what I'm saying, to be held to such a high s- sense of accountability. Yeah, right. you know yeah. what I mean. What is that about, so man? They don't, be want, they don't be want me around sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> Sway, you always bring up how the younger generation has such a swollen sense of entitlement. Well, in my observation, a lot of folks do. And and, and when I was a young man, I had that same <laughs> swollen yeah. sense of entitlement. It comes with youth. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It comes with youth. It's just everybody, like, you know, it's, 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 it's just like high ambition mixed with, uh, you know, I guess probably a, a, a sense of, feeling insecure about acceptance in right. society mm-hmm. not you know what i'm saying not knowing your place and you know uh, maybe overcompensation of aggression because you don't want to be taken advantage of and, mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it's yeah. a lot of that you know what i'm saying it's a lot of that but you know when you wipe away all the bullshit, you got to have something that you some some solid that you standing on yeah yeah you know that's yeah. all I. That's all I Damn, expect. Man, I wish Ti was my daddy in a life. That's to be held some good ass advice, right? Right down the hill. Head, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, yo, working with Dre, man. Were y'all like hands on in the studio when y'all did this? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we, but I mean, that's Dre, man. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care who we are in this yeah. game. That's, that's Doctor Dre. Yeah, that's damn right. Any what? What can you like? We we. People think you give you've been in the game for a while. You, there's nothing left to learn. But what did you learn, Sheesh. baby? What'd you learn, man? What did he say to you? <laughs> I'm sound like a motherfucking groupie, it's right? Not- <laughs> 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 what did he smell like? <laughs> it's just, hey, man. Mainly, it's just you know whether or not he let you know when it's not good enough. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? How did he tell you that? Did he say it's not good enough? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's do that true. over. <laughs> change that. You know what I'm Keep real this. Simple. Change that. That's real. Damn, man. Did yep. it hurt your feelings when he told you to, to, to write a rhyme over? Nah, I ain't hurt my feelings. I'm mm. I'm about getting it done. Right. You know, and it ain't my first time working with you know working with Dre. I already I know he's very meticulously detailed with with you know with recording mm-hmm. and and mixing. 
You know what I'm saying? Like the sound of mm-hmm. or the level of one particular instrument that it, it'll bug him until he get it right. You know. Mm-hmm. So what what do you want to um with this this project um mm-hmm. music project what you know um I remember when Jay did the um American Gangster project it was more mm-hmm. like a conceptual thing mm-hmm. you know that mm-hmm. he stepped aside off to do that you know when sure. Kanye did 808 and Heartbreaks you know sure. what, what what do you see for this what what you hope to accomplish with this project I just want to I want it to be a dedication to my day one fans mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. The the ones who supported me when I'm serious, trap music drop, uh, and the ones who who helped build the foundation for the genre of trap music. Uh-huh. Um, I think the the music, the energy, uh-huh. you know, it should embody the spirit of that. Uh-huh. That's pretty much it. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, and hit records. And hit records, saying. okay. <laughs> and then Bankroll Mafia. Yeah. Who are Bankroll Mafia? Can you give me the history? The it's, real- a, it's an amoeba. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, uh, man, for real, We I like to consider us a coalition of like-minded individuals mm-hmm. who all stand on the principles of putting that bankroll in the bullseye and that bullshit in the backseat. Mm. And, you know, we don't all rap we aren't all from atlanta yeah uh but you know the particular compilation that we put out you know what i'm saying we some young we some young cats kicking flag that's what i'm i'm, I'm gonna say that you know okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. you know they gonna say we some young cats and tip too okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know we some young cat kicking flag man uh Dripping sauce on the thirst buckets. You know Dripping what I'm saying? Dripping sauce on the thirst buckets. <laughs> Who are the members? Ah, you just asked me that again, didn't okay, you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Because okay, okay. I was like, damn, it was either I'm not. Clear. I mean, Sean okay. the God, okay. London J, okay. uh, myself, Thugger, Pee Wee Roscoe, uh, uh, Dro, you could say. Dro, you know, we got, my man, Dro. Man, we you we know, love Dro. Man. Yeah, we know. yeah. <laughs> we we got several members that you know, uh, mm-hmm. OJ Mayu, mm-hmm. Allen Iverson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know AI? what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, AI I remember. Yeah. HR Chuck, what up, Chuck? <laughs> That's too, man. All right, uh, we gonna uh, we gonna take a few phone calls. Ti is here. Um, and uh, if you want to speak with him, 888-742-3345. Let's go to Colorado. Mark, yeah, yeah. what up? Mark, what up, man? What's poppin'? Mark, what's poppin'? What's going on, yeah? Yeah, we're going sway. What's up, Mark? What's that? What's that? All right. Yeah, man, I've been a big fan of you uh, for a long time. Man. I'm proud of the man that you become. I used to live in Atlanta, and I just moved about six months ago. So I'm proud of the man that you become. You're doing a positive thing. I saw that video of you shooting at that Walmart where you did all that positive thing. Yeah. My question to you was, is there going to be another taker? Man, you said there's going to be another the taker. Takers, yeah, takers too. Man, uh, we've been ta- we tossed it around for quite some time, and it was, you know, we talked about doing a prequel. Um, this was this was before this was before Paul passed. Uh, I you know I I I don't know I haven't heard anything about it in, in some time I appreciate you know you inquiring about it that would be more of a Will Packer mm-hmm. Clint Cole Pepper question you know what I mean uh, uh, hey, hey Mark but he got new music out you got a yeah. movie coming out uh, you know you get it you, yeah I'm gonna get that out but oh. I just wanted to make sure uh, I let you know man just keep doing the positive thing that you're doing I appreciate you. All right. Hey, Appreciate thanks, you, bro. Thanks for your call, man. Hey, Michelle, what up? Michelle's hey, in Michelle, Texas. Michelle, what's Shelly Bo. Hi. Good hey. morning. What's happening? Oh, my gosh. I'm such a huge fan. Yay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> question. Um, I've been following your music since day one, and you have tons of singles and albums. Which one is your favorite album and your favorite song? The next one, this one right here, for oh, come that's, up. That's a, that's a right there, <laughs> this one right here, and, and probably dope. Dope is my favorite song right now. Thank you, though. I All appreciate right. that. Okay. Bankroll Mafia is also. I'm fond of it too. Okay, Michelle. All right. Thank you. Have a good thank, morning. Thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we got a sweet. From Queens. What sweet. up, sweet. sweet? Sweet. Good morning, everybody. Q Burrow. What up? You. What's that? What's up? Sway, uh, Tip, everybody, I want to tell you, number one, I love the way that you represent us. I'm so proud of what you do, your contributions to the culture. It's like food to us. It really is. Everyone who tunes in every day, everybody who 
you know, um, listens to your projects and everything, it's like food to us, and we really appreciate it. So I wanted to thank you for that first. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's my thank you. It's an honor. And uh, my question is, um, to for those um, folks who might feel tired of seeing, you know, us portrayed so often as slaves, the help, third class, et cetera, mm-hmm. and a lot of the media that comes out, mm-hmm. um, what would you say to those people, to that audience, to inspire them to watch Roots? Well, to be honest, which I would say that they, they're compartmentalizing the message. You know, they're trying to take one thing about a very broad message and, and kind of try to, they're profiling it. it, it now, it, it is, slavery is a part of the story, but I don't think it's a slave story, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because they didn't begin slaves and they didn't end slaves, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The, that was the middle, you know? Uh, and I think that it's it's more it's it's more of a story of I guess you could say that's the origin of our existence as African Americans. You did we came from Africa, you know, but we most of us though we can't go back and trace what we were doing and you know the cultures that came from our descendants in mm-hmm. Africa. Most of us cannot do that. Um, so we got to go back to the beginning of this mm-hmm. and figure out what this is, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, and I think that, you know, there is no way to do that without proper information. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and if you if you just leave that as a blank part of your, of your timeline, you don't know. If you didn't know where you were born, when would you celebrate your birthday? <laughs> you point. know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, right. Like It'll real talk, you, how would you know how old you are? How would yeah. you? You have no real basis of structure, you know, and that's gonna lead into just confusion mm-hmm. and chaos. So I think you know you got to inform yourself what we what we were as a people, our descendants before we were slaves, how we got here, how we endured, how we overcame, and you know that'll that'll give us a better sense of self to move forward to me hey you know what sweet are you still there yes i am listen tip is performing tomorrow night um at Irvin plaza here in new york city okay. and um mano and uncle murder you know they got their project yeah, yeah. yeah. king yeah. kong and godzilla they're yeah. gonna be there uh <laughs> anderson pock who is a good friend of ours adrian miller a good friend of ours manage him so he's doing extremely well we just heard robert awesome. glasper yeah right he's dope awesome um, PNB Rock is going to be there, and, and then also um, five uh, five, five mics, mics and more. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people there, so you should go down to uh, Irvin Plaza tomorrow. Doors open at seven. That's right. All right. You okay. know what? I will. Okay, we're all going to be there. Right. So if you're in Vegas, um, man, you got a resident. I do. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you do got a resident and in Vegas now. Yeah. It's at uh, um, Dre's, right? Right. Yep. Um, and it's going through June. Okay. No, so it no, starts no, in June. No, no. no how long is it going? The next show we doing in June. If the next right. show is in June. The next one we doing is in June. We'll be. Dude, you got a resident um, in, in, right. in, in Are you Vegas. Hip hop actor? No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm the best though. Ah. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> so can you imagine? You <laughs> after the show, maybe you know. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> cancel, you know? <laughs> who, who got a, okay? Boys to Men got a residence there. Yeah, J Lo, J Lo, Britney Spears, Britney, Mariah. Celine Dion just came back. Celine Dion, Mariah. Yeah, Mariah. Uh, Mariah had one, and Tip. You, I could just see y'all hanging Mariah out Braxton. at the Denny's right after the show, man. <laughs> Shit, wait, okay. Yeah, I yeah. see that, man. Like right the new on. Rat Pack. Man, sneak a sneak a song with Celine, bro. Just just for the just do it. Hey, man, I show up if she show up. Okay, that's what's up, man. <laughs> uh, man, congratulations, man. Give T.I. a round of applause, Thank you, man. man. Hey, man, Appreciate it's good to love, see you. We man. ain't seen you in a minute, man. Come on, man, all the time, man. I love watching yeah. you, bro. I'll be right following on. you on Instagram and the yeah. whole nine. I appreciate that. Yeah, tell Jay I still got some work to do in the plantation, but I'll come up and see him once I well, break the what? chains. Hey, man, at least you get, <laughs> at least you getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> it could you be know worse. I ain't here it for free. Worse. It could it be worse. Free. It ain't for free. I guarantee you that. <laughs> Whoever That's I'm real. working with, <laughs> know that it's a mutually beneficial relationship. There you go.